Okay, so as you go through this ad formula, there's six parts, and I'm going to go through each one of these in its own video. These videos won't take long, but I always like to have something that when I go through a course like this, because it is quick and I do pick up things that I can use forever, I like to have a reference sheet. So usually I do this in notes, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to build you something that you could print out that's one sheet. You could put it next to your desk, and pretty much immediately as you look at these six things, that um, you will be able to sort of recall and remember this. One of the big things that I do is, even though I know this stuff, every so often I'll just go on a tangent and not do this. So I like to put out these checklists next to my desk so that as I'm actually going through this action, I can look up and say, okay, does this ad meet all of these things? So I've got this. You can click on the side of this page and download this and print it out or just keep it handy somewhere on your computer. But this is going to go through the six parts. Now, there's nothing that, as you just look at this and read, is going to be like, okay, well, this is you know stuff that I need to do. You have to go through the videos to understand what I'm talking about with each of these things. But after you go through the videos, these little uh, attention things are going to grab you and you'll be like, oh yeah, I remember Ben said this about this and this is what I need to do. So there's nothing magical about the ad image, the brand image, the post text, the headline, the comment and share count, and the like count as your six things. So if you stop with this video, you are going to miss all the good stuff, right? So understand, you got to go through the next few videos to understand what I mean by that. But this is my checklist every time I go through each of these things and I go through the list on as I look at my ad after I get done putting it together did I do all of these things correctly so part one is the ad image and you know there's a couple key things and they're listed here and I'm not gonna go through them right now but they're listed here some things you need to keep up with the brand image what should this do and what should it look like the post text on your ad what should that look like the headline you know we've got our headline here what should that look like and notice we don't do too much with this uh, description down here because it's not one of the big things that I'm worried about after that the comment and share count now you may not think the comment and share count is important but if you set your ad up a certain way it becomes very important and I'll show you as we get to that video how we get those comments and shares up without having to ask people to comment or share if you don't want to ask for that that's not gonna work now also the like count a like on our ad is gonna be huge from a social proof perspective but also from a perspective of it helps you when Facebook sees that you're getting likes comments and shares now likes are a little bit cheaper than your comments and shares are gonna be and what I mean by that is they don't count for as much in the ad algorithm as what this is because once you start getting likes well that tells people that hey I mean how many of you have ever seen an ad out there that gets this many likes in the span of a week it's, it's rare, but that you set your ads up a certain way, it's really easy to do without even having to ask for people to like it. Now, the other thing is, how do you get people to comment and share? Now, look at this. 57 people in the span of a couple of weeks shared this ad. People are sharing our ads. Now, that may seem impossible, but what you're about to learn, we're going to show you how to do that and how to set up your ad in a way that people want to share it. So, what we've got here is six components that you have to focus on with your ad. As you're setting it up, these... You can't, you know, you can't buy these or set or set them up and just fake them. You have to actually get people to do this stuff. As we go through this formula, we're going to show you how to do all that. So, six things that you have to check off. And in these last two, you got to check off did I do this other stuff the right way so that this is actually going to happen here. But all of these components come into place, you're going to be blown away by how powerful your ads are, the click-through that you get, as well as the interaction that you get and the social proof that you build up right on your ad. So I'm excited to print this out, and as you're going through these next few short videos, this is going to be something that comes in handy, and then put this up next to your desk, you know, pin it on the wall, and you're going to see that this is something every time you run an ad, you can look back at this and remember what was in this course, and it's going to help you out a ton. So I will see you in the next video. We're going to start through these six things how to do them, how to do them the right way, and this is going to absolutely blow you away. All right, Ben here. I'll see you in the next video.